Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of the Excalibur Data Systems Roundtable Tech Talk. I am Mike Fuson. We're continuing our series on organizational change management. So we talked about in our last episode, what is organizational change management? It's managing the change that's going to occur within the organization as you implement a new tool. Now we're going to use a, a new IT service management platform or an IT service management process as our examples. What you need to do for effective organizational change, one of the key pillars in success is effective communications. Everyone is going to have some angst because something is going to be changing and something is going to be different than what they're used to. Some people handle that a little bit better than others. Some people have a very, very strong reaction to the changes that, that are going to occur. Effective communications and helping folks to understand what's coming will help to soften that blow. In so many cases when we're implementing a new platform, we're taking an opportunity to look at all of our process areas. What are our opportunities for improvement? What are the things that we can do better or in many cases easier than the way maybe we had built them in the past. It's an opportunity to correct potentially mistakes that were done before, or it's an opportunity to potentially reinvent an entire process. Managing that change is making sure that those communications are effective. So taking an example of change management, not to be confused with organizational change management, but change management as an IT process. We've worked with customers who have taken the opportunity as they implement their IT service management platform to put a somewhat robust change management process in place. Perhaps approvals were a little willy-nilly before, now approvals are required. Uh, perhaps there's more information that they're collecting or maybe they've implemented with that process a risk calculation system. What effective organizational change is about is communicating these differences in what's about to come and what's about to happen. So communicating out these items in small bites. And so strategies that we've seen customers use that have been very effective are a newsletter. Everybody knows that the system is going to be changing, but it's not going to be changing today. And so they're communicating out new things. You work with the marketing department to put an exciting spin on it. Look at what we're going to be able to do. Um, look at the organizational benefits that are being driven by this and help people to understand that it's coming. When they hear it multiple times and then they're being trained in it or they're seeing it for the first time, it's not the first time they've heard of it. So that's one of the many strategies that are available to help manage and mitigate the angst of organizational change. Stay with us as we continue to explore the complexities of organizational change management.